Hi, so welcome back to London Coffee Festival. We are at the Eversys booth and I'm really excited to be talking to Harrison, the sales director for Eversys North America. Welcome. Thank you. How, how are you enjoying here. London's wonderful weather? Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's a lovely town. I'm always happy to be here. Um, it's a great place to visit, especially as a New Yorker. It's got that kind of vibe. Uh, <laughs> that impressive match. large buildings. That's, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Good pubs. Excellent, <laughs> I love it. Um, tell us a little bit about Eversys' kind of reach in the US, what you're doing, what you're excited about. Yeah, so um, in the US, uh, we really got started. It's always been specialty focused. Um, we really got started in the self-service industry to start. Uh, specialty roasters wanting to be able to serve very you know, high quality coffee in spaces where you weren't able to have a barista. Uh, the past few years though, the shift has, uh, you know, that started has uh, fully taken off. And what we're seeing is, you know, we are becoming the choice for specialty focused cafes because of the consistency we're able to offer, the uh, ease of training, and uh, finally just the, uh, the speed, the, yep. the throughput. Uh, New Yorkers don't like to wait for their coffee. Most people don't. There's a lot of drive throughs in the States yep. as well. And uh, speed is definitely uh, king. And what about just espresso culture generally, because traditionally, you know, filter coffee is a big thing in the US and stuff like that. That's is there a real embracing of uh, the culture there? Absolutely. I mean, uh, yeah, drip as we call it. Uh, 20 years ago, I feel like espresso really took off and yeah. it's only continued since then. Majority of the drinks sold at uh, specialty coffee shops and most coffee shops now is going to be espresso based. Uh, what I've noticed and what clients have told me is that a lot of times people will opt for drip if they don't think they're going to get their espresso. Yeah, based if drip, it's not fast, fast enough. enough. <laughs> exactly. I say to people, you know, if you have to wait 10 minutes before you order, that goes from a latte to a drip coffee, yeah. and uh, you know that's Your something that goes we're with able it to change. Well. Yeah, exactly. That's where I come in, right? Nice, nice. So maybe tell me a little bit about, as you're seeing those changes, your maybe three most different kind of customer groups that you're seeing, uh, you know, buying into the Eversys yeah. equipment range and, and what problems you're solving for this. Yeah, definitely. So like I said, self-service is where we started. It's still a very big component of our business. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the uh, efficiency on the cleaning side, efficiency on the throughput, the milk texture is yeah. what uh, consumers are demanding, right? Silky, microfoam, velvety texture. Um, so that's definitely a key vertical to us. Uh, the next step was really getting into the uh, back of house, if you will. So, you know, we feature a lot of uh, Michelin starred restaurants and a lot of just good local restaurants as well. Um, key vertical for that is, you know, people want to be able to end a meal with a beverage that's a befitting of the food that they serve, yep. right? And then finally, it really is, you know, what I call the retail. Um, coffee is the key uh, product, key component, and that's the one where we're seeing the most growth. Uh, and what we're solving there is everything from uh, consistency issues, you know, with the quality, um, training, you know, 15 minutes on one of these machines, yep. and uh, I mean, they're not pouring latte art as well as you, but they're, they're doing a hard or something yep. like that. And, um, you know, it's really freeing up that time. And so you see uh, a shift where you have uh, baristas that now have this time and they, they're focusing on uh, other areas. Maybe it's able to provide a larger food program. Maybe it is the ability to just have a moment to look a customer in the eye and like try and make their day, have yeah. a make your day kind of moment. It's just yeah. that flexibility. You're no longer tied to the prison of this work, right? Of doing this and this and this before you sure. engage with someone or sell them something, God forbid. That's right. Um, all right, so, just because we're in London now, we're seeing some really exciting things happening. Tell us a little bit about Blind Street and the, the project and the rollout and the story there that you've been part of. Yeah, absolutely. So I knew Jai from his uh, previous work and um, you know, he had always been a fan of our machines. He loved the quality off of it. And uh, you know, it was in the midst of COVID, he calls me up and he says, I'm opening a coffee cart and we're gonna open, you know, a thousand of these. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And so what's interesting is I said, you know, where? <laughs> where, where midst of COVID, yeah. business districts are not, you know, fully open, all of these things. And he says in, in the middle of Williamsburg, which is, you know, a very uh, uh, chic or yeah. it's very much like Shoreditch here. Yeah. Very nice neighborhood. And um, I said, okay, interesting. And uh, what they've done since that first car 
is, uh, you know, they've been able to open in neighborhoods. They are a neighborhood focused cafe. Yeah. Uh, what they've done is they've brought some technology via an app, making uh, the ease of, of ordering, uh, bringing that to a neighborhood cafe. Yeah. So sometimes you get that make your day moment, sometimes you're running late for whatever you're doing and just need to pick up. They're able to do both of those things. And uh, they've scaled over 30 shops in the uh, past 18 months. And uh, they're here in London, they're going to be opening um, you know, uh, a good amount of shops. I'm not sure I can say. <laughs> I'll leave that to Jai, but yeah. uh, they're, they're definitely going to be visible. We're going to see this cup, this massage cup in a few places. And I think, I think it's really interesting and exciting to see that, you know, because we, we look across the water and we see cool things happening. It's really rare to see that jump from one place to another and to be able to experience it here. But I love it because, like you said, the markets are the same, right? The, yeah. the, the attitude and the experience of being here exactly. is New York on a good day or a bad day, depending on your perspective. But. <laughs> Absolutely, and you know, I think it's a, it is still a very hard thing to do, but this, uh, this focus on the neighborhood, this focus on you know, the community, um, they're quite involved. Um, with you know, you know, planting trees, um, running uh, fundraisers. I mean, they did a they did a wonderful um, you know uh, pet adoption day at one of their carts where yep. they partnered with a veterinary clinic and they had dogs that were available for adoption. <laughs> really sweet stuff, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, I think that that uh, that kind of care for the community, I, I believe, will translate here and, and should right. lead to success. And as you've worked with them through this, as yeah. you've seen them, the like the rapid growth, what yeah. is the the one thing that they've been able to do that they wouldn't have been able to do if they didn't have the Eversys equipment within the business? Yeah, I mean, some of these, <laughs> we, we all know city apartments tend to be smaller. Yeah. Some of their shops are even smaller than my <laughs> apartment. <laughs> so, you know, I think that that small footprint would just not be available. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, some of their stores only want run one person. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that on a traditional machine. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think I think that's uh, one area where, uh, where we definitely But that gives them that, that flexibility to grow really fast and find exactly. these places that no one else could take. Right, and, and actually reach customers that nobody else is able to reach. So. No, exactly, and actually I've seen the word get out where you have uh, you know, real estate developers say, hey, you know, I've got this 600 square foot place, and I see people in the comments saying, you should reach out to Blank Street, because Amazing. they know how to turn this into something, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I guess, uh, what would you, from your, your experience and journey in the US, mm -hmm. What would you suggest for London? What's what's in our future? You know, if we're if we're learning from you guys as much as you're learning from the Europe and and whatever. That is a wonderful question. <laughs> a really good. Also, question. give you no yeah. time to think about this. Straight <laughs> on you. It's, uh, it's I like that. I like that. Um, you know, I, I think uh, one of the items, you know, I can't claim to know the London market or the UK market very well, um, but I will say, you know, one thing that I think is incredibly important that's happening right now in New York is just this focus on uh, using technology to better the experience of the of the consumer. So where Blank Street uses it to be able to create these interpersonal um, moments, other people are looking uh, for technology to create other touch points with their customer. Maybe you walk in and uh, and there's a customized like sticker that you chose when you pick up your beverage. Yeah. You know, or um, you know, I have a client that is uh, interested in creating like. Um, uh, you know, screens on the wall that when you step in, it has like a display that you've chosen, you know? So, so just taking that brand experience so that it starts a little bit before you get there and lasts a little bit longer. Exactly, uh, and it's customized to you. It's a touch point That individual for you. thing. And, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Love it, amazing. Cool. Well, um, thank you so much for chatting to me. I hope, uh, I hope the weather gets better and you get to really <laughs> enjoy it here. I brought the bad weather with me, so it's my fault. Amazing. Cheers, thank Harrison. you, Dale. Thanks, mate.